Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back once again for To Be Released Solo, the only Dokkan podcast that is an offshoot of another one that was originally a part of the original Dokkan podcast, the podcast. That's right, a huge lineage <laughs> that continues onward. I'm your host, Purple Wilkie, joined as always, solo, but maybe not for long. Hmm. Um, uh, I'm here back again to talk about Dokkan. I promised I'd keep doing solo. A lot of you guys, uh, supported my endeavors to go into the solo range until I can get into a situation where I can be back with Zen and specifically record Dokkan stuff when he doesn't care about Dokkan. <laughs> For right now, we're focusing on some other stuff, so... Yes. To be released solo. So today, what are we going to talk about? Today, we're going to talk about some very interesting things because from there's so much stuff got that got released since the last episode. We're going to talk about the Namek celebration. We're going to put on the big boy scale the two big LRs, and we're going to have a special segment. And then I'm going to answer some questions you guys left because I totally forgot to ask about ask for questions last time. I'm still going to be doing questions. So if you have a question that you want to hear heard on the episode, make sure to leave it down below. If you specifically say, hey, this is for the podcast slash video, I'll make sure not to actually answer it in the comments. So that'll be better for you. And now let's start talking about stuff. Okay, so first up, we have the Namek Celebration, which is going on now. We finally have details on it. Uh, previously, we knew that they were going to be giving an easy aid to the Ginyu Force. The thing we weren't expecting was for the Ginyu Force to be basically doled out in three parts. So we're starting with. Um, it's not Birder. His name is not Birder. How am I forgetting this dumb little dude's name? Raccoon and the green <laughs> statue looking man. Oh, Goldo. I remembered it eventually. When I can't see Goldo, I forget Goldo's name. And then the rest will be coming in a part two. And then finally the last two. I'm going to assume next is Birder and Jace. And then the final two will be Captain Ginyu and someone else maybe? I don't know. Um, very weird. I don't like three-part celebrations because there's not enough to do. And to be fair, this celebration at least has some new stuff. They have the new, um, Dokkan mode, which is the, like, in <laughs> what is this mode called? It's, it has such a dumb name, so I constantly forget it. It's, like, called the Infinite Battle Against Hard Dudes or something. Let me ch double check on it. But it's the mode where you'll be basically playing through two different sides. First side, it starts with Frieza, and then the other side will be the other characters. Let me see, I clicked on the wrong thing. Let me see, campaign, challenge events. Collection of epic battles. That just sounds like some kind of weird YouTube title, but whatever. Uh, the collection of epic battles, which I actually like more than the s stupid god event, I've always been the of the mind that I don't I don't think Dokkan actually knows how to make hard events. They know how to make bosses that instantly kill you, and it feels unfair the entire way. I can say for this one, it doesn't necessarily feel unfair. Anytime I've lost in it, it's because I went, oh man. I underestimated it for a little bit when I should have done that, and that was basically it. But for the entirety of it, it's not too hard. Um, but it's also, if I'm able to do it, that must mean that a lot of people can do it pretty easily, because I'm not someone who really likes to do hard content. So this is here for part one, and then for part two, we'll have the version where Super Saiyan Goku will actually be use, useful besides... Uh, because currently, the, the first part of it, superheroes do... Super characters do less damage compared to the uh, extreme types. So maybe that will be why it's hard for some people. Because they, they don't have a lot of good extreme types and I don't blame them. But yeah, then putting it into three parts. Not a fan. Because everyone knows there's going to be a part two LR. But then for part three, what do you give out? Another LR? That doesn't make sense. You should not ever divide celebrations into three parts. Two parts perfectly fine and then you can go on from there and i think yeah that's about it i think that's about all i can say for that specific event wise in namek and in terms of units it was pretty obvious who they were going to do they were going to do namek goku they were going to do full power frieza really sad i didn't get that krillin i wanted but hey what can you do 
Frieza also didn't end up starting from uh, Final Form, which makes me kind of feel like we'll get a Final Form LR. The Final Form version of Frieza never gets enough love, especially the one from Namek. They give him tours, but he's not his own special Dokkan vest, and he 100% should be. He's actually the cool form, and the one with the all the all, all the iconic moments. Full Power Frieza is remembered for being a loser. <laughs> He gets his ass whooped, and then it's an amazing move, and he says, you fool, and then we're done. But Final Form Freeze is the one who got Super Saiyan Goku out there. He's the actual one I like, and I think has all the cool moments of fighting. So I hope that they do do an LR for uh, Final Form Frieza is part two. And in terms of the side banners, we got Piccolo from Helping Goku, which I think was a good choice. And for some reason, the old STR Goku got a Dokkan Awakening. I have never pulled him once in the history of the entire game since I've started playing six years ago, and that did not change for this anniversary. And, of course, there's a third form Frieza, who I really like the design of, but he doesn't really do much, but it's okay, because he's good. And I think since then, they've released the... they've announced, finally, that um, the Goku that is the opposite of the Frieza is also getting a easy A, and he'll be basically the same unit, which is nice. I wish they would do it now instead of waiting for later. I don't know. Again, I don't like it when they hold back content. It feels really stupid to me, but I guess that's the difference between someone like me who is starting the game now and someone who is a brand new player and maybe doesn't have all that stuff ready to go. Um, yeah, so that's the event going on. I kind of liking what they're doing so far. I just think that it's a mistake to do three parts. I'm really enjoying the Namek stuff. Uh, some of the early boss fights I'm actually giving a shot in doing, and I'm enjoying them good enough. But yeah, basically comes down to don't do three part celebrations. Do two parts and put whatever you're going to put into part three into part one or part two. And also this event was able to get top grossing um, on iOS, which is nice. They weren't able to beat Umumasumi and Android, but it's all right. They did it once. Perfectly fine. 30 stones. Let's go. I also think that they should stop giving... Um, I, this should be saved for a future episode where I'll talk about it more when I have more thoughts. But that's basically it for that part. Let's move on to the next part, which we will now be putting on the big boy scale. Namek Goku and the full power Frieza. We'll start with the full power Frieza... Because he's full power Frieza and the other one is Goku. Always save Goku for last. This full power Frieza hits like a goddamn Mack truck. There's no denying that they've all they have did was put all the stats in his power up to 1 million and said go for it. <laughs> his ability to always crit Goku is great in a game where you mostly fight Goku. Where we have two events called Legendary Goku Event. It's kind of amazing. The only way they could have made it better if they had just said Saiyans, and at that point, why ever release another card? He would be so future-proof, you may as well assume that Dokkan is shutting down based on how broken they made him. Um, he's extremely good, and he also deals extra damage to uh, super enemies, which is very useful for a lot of events, because a lot of event bosses end up being super for some reason. Um... So yeah, let's put him on the big boy scale. And his animations are also very good. I like the kind of... They did a very similar thing where his 12 key is him throwing hands and his 18 key is him tossing the big ball. And it's kind of very similar to Goku where Goku throws hands in the 12 and he shoots a Kamehameha in the 18. And they both share an active skill that's kind of countering each other. One doing the you fool and the Frieza going, you horrible man. Well, in JP he goes... Something like that. It was apologies if <laughs> that was not me trying to speak Japanese. It was me trying to imitate Japanese Frieza's voice. Um. So yeah, let's put him on the big boy scale, shall we? So I think because of how good they made this Frieza, I think the only fitting number for him is... 503,000 out of 5, which is his power level, which I think I've just completely mangled. So let me put it, my power level is 5,000, 50,300 something, I believe. Oh. 
530,000. There you go, 530,000. That is is Big Boy Skelly is 530,000 out of 5. Um, there's no denying that they will never make another full power Frieza as good as him because they've basically used everything they can. And I'm saying this having said that there is this is technically the second full power Frieza that we've received because the other one is a red unit and <laughs> is sharing the other moves as the Destructo disc. So there's no real reason. They're out of moves for this full power Frieza as far as I'm concerned. Now let's actually go into the Goku. So now I'm Goku, obviously being intelligence is a bummer. Um, because he is, he has dodge and nobody likes dodge unless you're one of those dudes who does meme dodge. And yeah, dodge is sucks. It's no denying that. But I still think he's extremely good. His ability to crit freezes is very th fitting for what he does. And unfortunately, there is not a lot of freezes in the game in the, as final boss fights somehow. So what they need to obviously do here is implement some kind of legendary fight Frieza. There's enough forms for Frieza for them to do it, so they should obviously do it. Um, but yeah, he's powerful. His animations are great. His art is great. And the same thing goes for the Frieza with the art as far as that's concerned. And he does the You Fool. And because I play Japan, I don't have to see You Moron, which is amazing. So... Time to put him on the big boy scale. I think this is the only appropriate number to give to this Goku. This Goku gets a 7,777,777. So there you go. Out of five. And once again, I'll say it. 7,777,777 out of five. And that's what he's going to be put on the big boy scale because there is no reason for them to ever release another Super Saiyan Goku. Any other Super Saiyan Goku that gets released from this point on is basically null and void in my eyes. And that's how the big boy scale is going to crumble for this one. Okay, so yeah, that's the big that's the big boy scale for you. Hmm. Wait, do you guys hear that? Do you guys listen to it closely? Because I think it means something. And now, we step away from To Be Released Solo, and enter into Zen's Corner. And now, I'll allow my co-host of the regular To Be Released to say whatever he wants to say about this Dokkan Celebration theme dynamic. Zen, go ahead and take it away. Alright, what is this fucking dynamic? Hang on. Hang on. Let me go look. Oh no, the art's pretty thick! Those guys look pretty cool. Is like Goku doing the thing? He's doing like the you fool thing, but he says you moron. That's kind of weird. And then Frieza does his thing. I'm guessing Frieza is probably better because that's just like what Dokkan does lately. But who gives a shit? Because look at that Goku art. That's some good shit. Uh, oh, the banners. <laughs> oh, no. The Gohan and Cell are on them. Uh, that's that's it. That's right there. That's ruined. The whole the whole Zen corner is just stop putting Gohan and Cell on banners. Fucking, I'm out of here. And thank you, Zen. Thank you very much for agreeing to be in the Zen corner, the only segment in to be released <laughs> dedicated to bringing in Zen for a bit to give his thoughts on Dokkan. Um, and now let's go into the final part of the actual entire thing, which is answering questions that people have left. Now this, these got compiled, one from Twitter and then one from when I asked in the community tab. Again, if you want to ask a question. Okay, so this first question comes in from Jirai. He asks, how many golf games did you play in your lifetime? And also, what's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? All right, so... I had to put this down. I should say from here on forward, um, you should really try and keep it to exactly one question. This isn't too bad because it's like an and. This is like the closest you get. If it's at least a sentence, it's perfectly fine. I don't mind. Uh, we This has also been a rule in the regular to be released. Uh, I say this now. <laughs> don't feel bad because the other person asked like seven questions, but they forgot. It's been a very long time. So for today, you guys are both expunged. But for next time, please keep it to just one. It's perfectly fine. 
Uh, so how many gacha games have I played? Here you go. Here's the list that I can remember because I wrote them all down. Dokkan, Naruto Blazing, Fate Grand Order, Orc Collection, Jambuti Heroes, Dragalia, Yakuza Online, Duel Links, Bounty Rush, Star Smash, Uma Masumi, Pretty Derby, Puzzles and Dragons, Mario Kart, the Final Fantasy Gacha, which I don't remember which one. I think I played both at some point. Uh, Grand Cross, Treasure Cruise, My Hero Smash Step, Pitter Patter Pop, uh, Don Machi, the Tales Gacha that most recently released, and the old one as well. Uh, Genshin Impact, WWE Immortals, and various hentai games I cannot say the name of because then you guys would then look at it and have to come to terms with that I played them. But they were perfectly fine. Uh, it was funny because it ended up being that they were pretty solid games to play. And they just so happened to also be hentai games. As it goes. I have also think I've played games that technically had a gachapon element in them. But I don't think they would be considered gacha games. So I didn't include them. Also, technically speaking, Duel Links is kind of like a gacha. But I don't know. Kind of iffy because it is also buying packs. But... Uh. I didn't feel like uh, putting it down. And as terms of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card, this is a tough one because I think it ends up being, it depends on kind of what generation you're looking into. I think for all, in terms of being able to use them, I think Stealth Bird ended up, in terms of actual use in his day, Stealth Bird was my favorite card along with a second place for Desk Koala, and in terms of in uh, design and look and everything, my favorite card is probably Dark Magician Girl. Like, if I were to think of a like in terms of, like, actually chasing and trying to find a copy of them that I did not have previously, it would probably be Dark Magician Girl. But in terms of actual use during their peak, it was Stealth Bird and followed up by Desk Koala way back in the day. No real modern card in that one. <laughs> um... Uh, but I have plenty of good cards. I never actually thought about it. I'm sure if there, were, if I thought about it, there'd be more cards that would potentially enter into the ranking because I have so many cards that I just really like the look of and like their effects and stuff like that. But yeah, you could probably, for gameplay purposes, Stealth Bird, everything else purpose, Dark Magician Girl. So thank you for the question. And finally, we have Jake. All right, remember what I said previously? Here are all of Jake's questions, which I'm going to answer very quickly because he put in a bunch of them. Who would win in a fight? The characters from that one Jake guy, of course. That's his full name. Thank you for, for all the questions. Who would win in a fight? The characters from the Hello Kitty anime or the characters from the Kirby cartoon? It would be Kirby because Kirby has the ability to suck the entire world and has killed a god and Hello Kitty has never done that. Who would be your Digimon partner if you were a tamer? I don't know if I would ever be a tamer. I think I would be a trainer? I think Tamers are the one that turn into Digimon. I don't really want to turn into a Digimon. I want to have a Digimon friend by my side. And in terms of who it actually would be, I don't know. Never actually thought about which Digimon I would be next to me. But it would probably be... Hmm. Let me actually look up the Digimon list. I said these will all be quick, and now I don't actually know. Digimon list. Okay. List of Digimon. There has to be one of these in here that I need to remember. Because the thing is that I want to kind of deviate to the ones that you always see. But I don't also want to pick them. Because there's plenty of alternate Digimon that I really like that never were the main hero of the dude. Or the main the main side character. Wizardmon. I would love it if it was Wizardmon. <laughs> So I'm going to go with Wizardmon. I did, I did Wizardmon's in the W's in here, so I didn't hear. I don't know what Wizardmon turns into. Let me look at what other forms of Wizardmon has. D-Reaper? What? I forget how weird Digimon gets. Let's see. We got Wizardmon. Ooh, Witchmon. Let me actually look at Witchmon real quick. I don't like in the look of which one, if I'm if I'm being honest. And let's see, next form would be Beastmon. Yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with her. <laughs> and then she turns into either Barbmon, which no thank you. No thank you, turn back. Or Laylamon. 
Yeah, let's go with her. I'm gonna go with <laughs> Witch Mon. She seems kind of more up my um my alley of my taste and preferences. I really do like the um the devil line of Digimon, so I'll go with that. And I think I could do good with a virus type, because you never really hear a lot about the good virus guys. Alright, next question. Who would you most want to cook a meal for all the animes who have you've seen? Probably be Toriko. The little dude from Toriko that I cannot remember the name right now. Let me find him real quick. I want to say it starts with a K. I have real trouble with like Japanese style names. It's going to be really funny when I look him up and he doesn't have a Japanese style name. He has a very, but he's like, name is Ben. But I'm pretty sure it's name. his name's not Ben. I would remember if it was Ben. Because it's so out there for anyone. Well, not super out there, but it's out there enough for me. Komatsu. I would gladly eat something that Komatsu cooked, especially if it came from the Toriko universe. It would be delicious. Um, if you were a gym leader in Pokemon, what would your type be? Chances are it'd be water because of Wooper. And your favorite Saturday morning cartoon growing up. This one's weird because I didn't grow up in the 80s. So I don't really have an affinity for G.I. Joe and Transformers like most people do. I think my actual favorite Saturday morning was Digimon for a long periods of time because it was on Fox Kids. But I used to watch... A lot of Power Rangers then, and it's not a cartoon, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> Ultimate Muscle, stuff like that. Sometimes Pokemon would show up. But in terms of an actual show, I was looking forward to seeing every new episode on Saturday. It would be Digimon. So I'm going to go with Digimon. Thank you for the questions, Jake. Again, next time, try and ask. what You can be as detailed as you want with the question, but you can definitely uh, try and keep it at one. <laughs> it's the best way. So, that's the end of To Be Released, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm going to keep doing it. I hope wish you guys all the best of luck if you're still pulling in Dokkan. I was able to get... I did more pulls off screen, and I now have a Namek Goku with one do. So I'm very happy, and I'm probably going to be saving for part two from now on. But yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. See you guys next time. Peace out. And... I forgot to do the outro for To Be Released, which is, remember everyone, don't play Dokkan. Because if you do play Dokkan, you go to hell before you die. Alright, now good night everyone.